Grumpy is back, and uh, Grumpy really doesn't like doing videos. They're too time-consuming, and I just don't have the right setup. Uh, anyways, uh, this whole COVID thing, lots of people working from home, uh, lots of VPN, lots of remote desktop, lots of uh, web access to apps, traffic, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to have people just uh, re-pin into the network and have uh, full access to everything. So you want to restrict them. And one way we can do that is through the um, uh, through OpenVPN and the client-specific overrides. So I'm going to show you that now. And first thing to cover that we're going to make sure that you have a VPN user. And of course, a corresponding VPN certificate. All right, next thing is here, we're gonna go into uh, VPN client-specific overrides, and we're gonna create this client-specific override for this user, Pine, which matches the user we created in system access. All right, for the basics, you're just gonna to wanna to go in here and choose your VPN server. I only have one in that dropdown servers list. And then in the common name, you're gonna type in the name of the user account that you created in system access users. This common name has to match the username. And now towards the bottom here, you're gonna see the advanced uh, box here, and you're gonna to wanna to put the configuration of the static IP address that you're gonna to wanna to assign to the user. So in my case, it's ipconfig push 10.69.69.5. That's static IP on the VPN subnet that I'm going to assign to this particular user when he logs in. All right, now that we've got that done, we're going to go into firewall aliases. And this is where we're going to create our two uh, objects, for one for the uh, static IP for the user that's going to be signing in and one for the host or machine or device that you want uh, to give access to that, to that uh, user for. So you see here, just give it a name, the type is host, and um, the content is going to be the static IP address that I assigned in the client override section. And for the host I want the user access, it's just gonna be a straight up host with the IP address um, of that particular device. And just getting up close and personal with that setting when you ed edit the alias, yeah, you just type in the IP address in the content field uh, for both the, uh, the uh, user and the uh, device you want the user to connect to. All right, once you have those both set up, you're going to go into firewall and into the open VPN section, and we're going to create uh, a new uh, firewall rule. And you can see uh, from the screenshot here, you can see that I have the first rule here that's going to allow the access from the user to the device as a pass. And then I have the default all any any rule that would typically be enabled to pass all traffic, which is block. So you're going to want to put this rule on top of the default allow rule. And then you're going to want to disable the um, you want to edit the allow, allow any any rule to block. So it hits the first rule and it goes down to the next set of instructions and it's all blocked. So only this is allowed at this time. Let me uh, show you how uh, we go and configure that as well. The firewall rule is pretty basic. It's just a pass on the OpenVPN interface. Uh, protocol, you can set anything you want here, but I have any. And the source is gonna be that alias, which should come down in the dropdown here. So your source is your alias. Your destination is your other alias for, in my case, it's the, uh, the Zen server host that I have. You should be able to then go to your VPN, connect it, and you should have the assigned IP address that we uh, set in the client-specific overrides under the advanced section. So in my case, it's the 10.69.69.5. And now my firewall rule should have applied to this IP address. So let's test it out and see what happens. And bingo, bingo, you can see by some uh, pinging random stuff on the network here, you can see that uh, my default gateway timed out, my XPNG host replied because I don't have any port restrictions, so we're, it's responding on all ports. And then I tried something else where there's no device on, and I can't hit that either. So that is pretty much uh, it for this video. Uh, yeah, so now you can, uh, instead of just arbitrarily giving people VPN uh, access to the entire network or subnet, which you shouldn't be doing in the first place, um, now hopefully this helps you figure out how to do it through OpenSense.
All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one, or actually, you'll hear me in the next one.